Time for a soak. When I was in my early 20s, I had these friends that owned a place that had 10 hot tubs and saunas and everything, shower, all this stuff. You could rent it, rent it by the hour. At night, you know, date night, hey, let's go get a hot tub. Oh, it'd be so sweet and romantic. But during the day, the only people that went there were old people yeah. and hookers. The hookers loved it because it was cheaper than a hotel room. And the old people loved it because their doctors would be like, you're, you know, you're stiffening up and everything. Time to loosen up. If you got a hot tub, and like, we can't afford a hot tub. Just so, rent one. Yeah, so they found one to rent and we called it the soak and poke. The best story to ever come out of there was this thing, they called it the legend of pup tent. This guy, nobody knows who he was you know he was just he was a john that went there with a hooker the hooker left the room before he did and he didn't leave he didn't leave didn't leave didn't leave didn't leave what the fuck what the fuck so they went back to check on him he died <laughs> oh, <laughs> he died right they kept the paramedics there and everything they put him on a gurney to wheel him out you know and they put a sheet over him and he's still fucking oh, rock no. hard and that is why they called him pop tent This guy goes in with a hooker, as uh, as they so often do. We're sitting there kind of bullshitting in the back room. There's a door that's open, and there's like a, just a blur, you know? It's almost like, oh, get the ghost hunters, you know? I think I saw something. And so we think nothing of it, you know? It's like, whatever. There are phones for each room there. So the phone for his room starts ringing, and he's like, um, I have a bit of a situation here. <laughs> we go like, all right, what's up? And he was like, uh, she took my wallet my car keys and my <laughs> pants oh, no. there's a lost and found back in the 90s um you remember the like the shorts like anthrax used to wear there was a pair of those right and this guy was one of those dudes with the great big belly and the little bird legs and he had a three-piece suit so he had the shirt the tie the vest and the mm -hmm. jacket and these like neon board shorts he's out there and he's going like she's a friend of the family and i was just trying to help her and everything and we we're like dude yeah, you're a liar save it for your wife we are not who you need to convince that was probably just enough of the soak and poke to where this stuff should be about Let's ready hope.